Dean's Dan Messinio spoke to Chief Ken Burton. He joins us now live from the police station. And Dan, uh, Chief Burton tells you residents should still expect some slower response times. Yeah, Marissa, and one of those residents speaking out about slow response times is Representative Caleb Jones. Now, he told ABC 17 News on Monday that one of his neighbors had to wait about an hour for investigators to show up after their burglar alarm went off. But Chief Burton tells me today that he just doesn't have enough officers to get to every call quickly. The high-profile cases of violence against law enforcement has prompted a new normal for the Columbia Police Department. I have always believed that two officers in a vehicle is much safer. Your backup's already in the car with you. So when all of that stuff was going on nationwide, we went to a policy of everybody be working two officer units. But this Sunday, Chief Burton implemented a tweak in the new policy. Now one officer will be in a vehicle for day shifts, and at night, you'll still see two officers in each vehicle. Burton says it's spreading resources thin, but says it's necessary. We want to make sure that um, you know officers feel safe out there, and, and uh, during the nighttime hours, most of the calls that they do respond to require two officers anyway, so it makes sense to have both in the same car. But with an extra officer in each car comes slower response times for lower priority calls, which has caught the eye of Representative Caleb Jones after a slow response time for his neighbor. Jones says something has got to change. And it starts with CPD funding. It is a funding issue. Uh, we need more police officers. We've never, you know, uh, said anything other than that. We need about 51 right now, just based on the workload analysis that we've done. Chief Burton says Columbia is a growing city, but the police force has not grown with it. But he tells me that there is just not enough money right now to hire more officers. Reporting live in Columbia, Dan Massinio, ABC 17 News. And Chief Burton says a consultant is doing a personnel allocation study for the department. Those results are expected early next year.